Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Rockwood Rue 233S. This is an awesome expandable, also known as a hybrid camper, which means you get the hard walls here and then you have the fold-out beds. This one has three of them, one right up here and two in the back. So actually, let's actually start right up here. Uh, the great thing about it, if you're not familiar with an expandable type unit, they basically use these cables right here rather than having to uh, have a bunch of stuff set up outside like you do on a pop-up. Super strong. Those cables can support about 1,100 pounds, so you definitely don't have to worry about you know them snapping or anything like that. Uh, of course, all three sides do unzip like they do in pretty much every expandable, but you have this really nice nylon material. We'll take a look at that when we go outside. Uh, and more importantly is the fact it is secured all the way around. And again, we'll get a better look when we go outside, but as you can see, the material is completely secured there. So that way you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, bugs or anything crawling in at night. Uh, and, you know, if it rains, you don't have rain water coming in here, it's not getting all wet. It helps control the temps a little bit better as well. Because, you know, even though you do definitely lose, uh, you know, some heat or AC, if it, you know, have AC running out the tent camper, uh, by closing off those holes, it definitely helps control it a little bit. You'll also notice something that's really cool that the Rue has is this right up here. You kind of have this net, so it uh, gives you that uh, extra storage space. And a lot of manufacturers just don't really utilize that space up there, so I'm glad that they put this up here. You know, again, any added storage in an RV is always a great thing, and I think this was a pretty smart idea. Right up top, you have a couple nets, easy access storage right there. Uh, of course, you have your hook right here, so that way it keeps it nice and taut. As we drop right down below, a little bit of storage both here and here. The other side is actually access to your water pump. So you can open this one up right there. You see where the water pump is. Um, you know, so for winterization purposes, it's always a good thing to know. Electrical outlet right there. And then right next to it, you have these little cubby holes. So that way you can plug your cell phone in, set it right down. You also have a nightstand. Privacy curtain to close it off for you there. And then taking a step back, you have the uh, rollover sofa right over here. So great place to sit, you know, nice and comfortable and it rolls over just like this. You have a leg, you drop down, and then boom, you have additional sleeping space. So uh, the cool thing about this setup, you know, is you can easily sleep nine people, two in each bed, one here, two over in the dinette. I'll show you in just a moment. Right up top, some additional storage. Just gonna open a door up so you can have an idea of what that storage looks like. LED lights, they have two rows of lights here, which helps keep it nice and bright in the camper. A lot of times manufacturers, especially in expandables, will only put one row in, it gets a little dark. You don't have to worry about it here. Max air vent fan. So upgraded fan. This thing really moves some air, folks. You know, a lot of times you don't want to run the AC, so you'll just open up some windows, turn that on. You will certainly feel the breeze. It gets awesome uh, kind of cross ventilation coming through here. You know, open up a couple windows, sucks it all in, does a great job. Right over to the side is a slide out. Again, you know, something that's great to have in an, in an expandable, something that a lot of them do not come with. U dinette, so you can easily sit four people around the table here and you have a little more elbow room. It also does convert into a bed, which is great. If you want to take the table completely out, you can do that as well. It's basically a freestanding table. Uh, that does just drop down. You can see the mechanism right here, a little lever. Then it just rotates and uh, drops right down for you, or pivots rather. Uh, if we take a look right underneath, you will see the storage. Something that's very, very cool about uh, Rockwood in general is you'll see that they actually use aluminum here in the dinette. Um, you know, in, in, if they have a fixed bed, Rockwood does in the fixed beds as well. Obviously, this is an expandable, so no fixed beds. But it is cool that they frame everything out in aluminum. It does cost a little bit more, but, uh, you know, it's definitely a little bit sturdier than wood as well. Storage going all the way across there. Tinted glass. Windows in the slide out too, even on the sides. So a lot of times you don't get that, but uh, you know I do like that they, they put them on the sides of that slide box. It does come with a TV here. It's on a swing arm mount, so you can swing it out if you're sitting in the dinette, you know, or just kind of angle it depending on where you're sitting. Tied into that is your multimedia center right here. This is a DVD player. It has an HDMI cable that's already run from the back of that right to the TV. Pop your DVD in there. You are good to go. Right down here, you have this little charging station. Just drop this down. Gives you a place to charge some of your electronics. Kind of creates... You know, this little uh, storage space so you can put your item there as well, your phone or whatever. Another electrical outlet there. And then tiny little uh, storage area right here. But again, better than nothing. You will also notice the big pull-out drawer right here. So it does come with these fans. Uh, they, they basically have one for each bed. I'll kind of show you where they connect, where they hook up at. Uh, but just know that it does come with those as well. 
Making our way back a little bit further here, we get into the kitchen. So you'll see the stainless steel microwave right up top, the hood underneath, big window going all the way across the kitchen. I love that because not only do you get a great view out to your campsite, also lets in a lot of natural light. Beautiful, solid surface countertops in here. You gotta love that, you know, high-end quality components. You have the large um, range on here. You know, a lot of times it's a lot smaller, but they give you the big three burner. Has the glass cover, so you can utilize this as prep space. Fold it up and back just like so to access those three burners. You'll see the updated or upgraded grill on here too. Kind of has more of a residential look. And then you have the large oven underneath. If you want to do some baking, this will certainly allow you to do it. It's a bigger oven than you get in a lot of travel trailers. Uh, underneath drawer space there you gotta love that additional storage you have a little bit over here as well you know good spot for your pots and pans a drop down for a sponge whatever else you want to put in there drawer for your flatware this is for your water filtration system there is a water filtration system on here so that's to get the water filter off and then some additional storage right underneath that making our way up a tiny bit Double bowl undermount stainless steel sink. Because you have solid surface, it allows you to undermount the sink. You will see the cooktop or the uh, sink top cover right here. This one, you can flip this over and use this as a cutting board. The other one's a great drying rack. That way, you know, you can set your big pots and pans and stuff on there. High rise faucet, additional storage right up top. And over to this side here is the pantry. You certainly have to appreciate a big pantry, and this one has it with additional uh, storage right here underneath. Just kind of open that up again. Not a ton, but you got a little bit right there. As I mentioned, this one does have AC, fully ducted AC on here. Uh, you can slide these open if you want a quick dump to really dump the AC right in here. You know, that's great if you're loading and unloading. Close those off. That will duct it throughout the rest of the camper. And straight across the way here, rounding out your kitchen, is the Dometic Fridge-Freezer Combo. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. So your rear two beds are right back here, very similar to the one that we saw up front. Again, you have the cables, you have the storage nuts right here. Both of those do have privacy curtains. You can see the other one right back there. You also have uh, a net on the wall back here, so you have a place to put like your cell phones, things like that, and there's an electrical outlet in there. Storage underneath, you know, again, it's not super deep storage on any of these, but uh, it is, you know, still, again, quite usable. You, you have another one right back here. This one is actually a little unique because as you can see, you have storage to the outside. Um, we'll see that when we go outside, just kind of a couple different access points. Thermostat right here on the wall. And lastly is the bathroom. Make our way in the bathroom here. Foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat on here just to kind of give you an idea of space. So as you can see, I have plenty of leg room here. I'm fairly broad in the shoulders and I don't have too many issues here. I weigh right about 200 pounds. So, uh, you know, as you can see, it's not an issue for me. Directly behind me, you have the big linen closet. I love this, especially in an expandable unit. Gives you a spot to you know store your uh, black tank chemicals, toilet paper, towels, things like that. Another big Max air fan right above the toilet, right where you want it. Uh, not only does that help you know do what it needs to do, but also helps get any moisture out of the bathroom. The shower itself is a neo angle shower. Uh, you will see the glass doors are in a roller track. That way you can, you know, shut them just like that. When you open it up, the thing I like about it is that the water goes down the shower door into the shower pan. on like a swing style door or curtain where a lot of times the water ends up on your floor. Uh, you also have this little guy in here. So you have a spot for your soap and shampoo. Skylight up top. I'm six foot. Folks, even, even without the skylight, I have a little bit of space. With that skylight, I have a ton of space. So, you know, if you're 6'2", 6'3", you can probably still shower in here without bending over. You also see this little guy right here. This is what they call the shower miser system. This is actually pretty cool, especially if you do a lot of uh, boondocking or camping where you don't have water hookup. So, you know, you fill your fresh water tank, you go to take a shower, and you know, you turn on the hot water, and it takes a while for it to cycle through for that water heater to heat up your water. So, you waste all of that water out of the fresh water tank in most cases. With the shower miser, what it does is it will actually uh, essentially pipe it from your uh from your water heater and then it will actually feed right back into your fresh water tank and then this little elbow that is blue when that turns clear that means your water is hot you can flip this little lever and then you have hot water so basically it's just recircing it uh you know through your water heater back into your fresh tank so you're not wasting any water when you know it's hot flip it over you're good to go you have a hot shower 
Right outside of that, mirrored medicine cabinet right here. You also see this built-in shelf, just kind of cool little spot for toothbrushes. And, you know, I, I'm guessing that's for a cup, but it'd be a pretty small cup. Uh, but <laughs> it is there. You see electrical outlet over here to the side. Big sink. It is a composite sink. Uh, personally, you know, I, I prefer a, a porcelain or a stainless steel. But the fact that it is large, I certainly do appreciate. That way when you're washing your hands, you don't have water splattering all over the place. And then right down below here, you'll see storage area. That is large enough. If you want to put a trash can in there, you have the space to do it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Rockwood Brew 233S. Uh, let's actually start on the bed right here. So this is the front expandable bed. Probably my favorite part about the Roo is the bed itself. Uh, one of the big issues I have with expandable units is a lot of times there's a huge gap where the material comes down, you know, especially in the corners. As you will see, they put silicone right here in the corner. It is secured all the way around the bed. Even, you know, even tucked right back into here, it's fully secured under here. So you don't have a bunch of bugs or anything flying in at night. Rainwater is going to run right off. It's not, you know, dripping down and coming in uh, underneath the bed or anything like that. Uh, so I love the fact that they did that. You also have a high quality vinyl material on here. It's very easy to clean. You can just basically wipe it down with soap and water if you do have any kind of stains on here. Uh, I believe they recommend OxyClean. Pretty simple and easy to clean up. You don't want to put anything harsh on here, uh, but you know, you treat it well and it will treat you well. You'll also see these, these are great. So this makes it a lot easier to put this away with one person. Now, I still have the, uh, the shepherd's hook in there, so you'd have to take that out and drop this part right here down. But the cool thing about this is you just lift this right up, you push it up, and then this locks it into place. You just go just like that with the lever, and that will lock it in place. A lot of times you have the big levers on there, and you know, if you're shorter, it can be pretty tough on some of the expandables because you have to be able to reach up to be able to get to that lever and a lot of times you just don't have any leverage in order to do it. So having that system does make it a lot easier to put away with one person. If we take a look underneath, I'm sorry it is pretty dirty. This one was parked in uh, the gravel, but uh, you'll see right here is power tongue jack right behind that. Two 20 pound propane tanks. Behind that a little bit further is your diamond plating helping to protect that front end. And then you have, uh, of course, a light right up there as well. Making our way around to the side here, fully laminated product, vacuum bonds, uh, so excellent construction on the Rockwood. You'll also see the power awning, covers almost the entire length of the camper, so you just touch a button to roll that out, same thing to have it go back in. You have a couple outside speakers if you want to listen to music out here. The Wi-Fi Ranger, this is a signal booster, a Wi-Fi signal booster, so if you're at a campground and it has Wi-Fi, generally it's pretty weak. Uh, so this will help uh, amplify that signal for you. This one also is LTE ready. So if you, uh, you know, want to pay for a cellular plan, you can have uh, internet basically wherever you have that uh, cellular service. We'll open up this front storage compartment. It is magnetic, stays up just like that, nice and easy. When you take a look in there, uh, you will see that you have a little door, so access to inside, but nice little storage area right up front. The entrance has the foldable steps. This is the more ride step above step system. Very, very solid. You know, I'm well over 200 pounds. You can see me climb up and down on here. It's not, uh, you know, it's not rocking or anything like that. It doesn't feel like a springboard. You have the aluminum treads. They won't rust. Grip tape on there as well. And the larger grab handles. So that way you have excellent control from that very first step all the way in. Frameless windows on here, that's a pretty big deal. Not only do they look great, you know, they're a lot more streamlined, uh, but also the seals themselves are tucked behind the glass. So that way it's not constantly getting beat up by the elements. And because the way they open, they tilt open like this, a lot of times it'll allow you to have your windows open even while it's raining. As long as it's not, you know, like a sideways rain, uh, you can have those open so you can get some airflow. It's not getting all stuffy inside while it's raining. I know the tires, again, are, are pretty dirty and I apologize, but they are aluminum alloy wheels on there. So when it is cleaned up, they look really, really sharp and they will continue to look great because it's aluminum, which means they don't rust. Right out here is a propane quick connect. What is that for, you ask? Well, you will see this rail right here and that is for your grill. It does come with the unit. You can put that right here, plug in your propane quick connect, you're good to go. Feeds off your two 20 pound bottles up front instead of having to bring separate ones. You also see TV hookup. So if you want TV, here's the hookups for it. You will kind of have to run those up and around and make sure you know you avoid the grill if you are cooking. 
Uh, obviously, you probably don't want to watch TV and cook at the same time, so your TV will be right up there. But uh, that's your connections for it. You can take the TV right from inside, drop it right down in here, and be able to watch TV underneath your awning. Black tank flush over here, so that black tank essentially has sprayers built into it. So what you do is, instead of taking a hose and sticking it down your toilet inside, you just hook it up right there, and uh, th those sprayers will essentially activate and wash out a lot of the solids and stuff that got left behind that didn't get dumped out with gravity. Of course, your rear bed right over here, underneath that, you see that you do have a bumper there, square tubular bumper with end cap, so you can store your sewer hose in it. Your spare tires right here with an awesome hard cover to help protect it. Very easy to access to. Just, you know, unscrew that guy and you can pull the tire right off. That's that rear access I showed you when we were inside. Might be locked. Yeah, I still have it locked, but that's, uh, that's that access. So again, you have a couple different access points. This is your third bed right over here to the side. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access there. Termination, again, I'm sorry, it's super dirty, but that is right down below. Both your black and gray tank valves are there. Cable and satellite inlet right over here, as well as your 30 amp detachable power cord. You will see your fresh tank fill is located there. Making our way up a tiny bit further here. Look at that. So again, it's magnetic, nice big storage area right up there. Um, you know, so definitely a couple different storage areas. I know the ones, you know, the access the inside aren't super deep, but this is a good extra storage area right over here. You'll also see your city water inlet up front and you have your antifreeze inlet. This is awesome for winterization purposes. It really makes it a lot easier. I showed you uh, kind of where that water pump was located. So when you take a hose from your bottle of glycol, hook it up right there, turn on the water pump. That will help cycle everything through the roux for easy winterization. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Rockwood Rue 233S. If you're interested in this wonderful expandable unit and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.